so we've talked a lot about um, different aspects of cardiovascular health. Um, what role does genetics play? And if we adopt a lifestyle that is healthy for our heart, can that alter um, at least our genetic path so we're not predetermined to have a heart attack just because our dad and our grandfather did at age 45? Yeah, genetics are real, of course, and they can be measured, and they're coming into clinical practice more and more. Uh, estimates are that you know, genetics in determining your risk of a heart attack or stroke may contribute 20% of the risk in lifestyle, your food, your sleep, your diet, your fitness, your smoking, uh, maybe 80%. Some people say that's actually 92% lifestyle. Dr. Russell Jaffe, MD, PhD, uh, goes as high as saying 92%. Um, we do have the ability, you know, routinely to check some of them. You can check your lipoprotein A, that's a genetic cholesterol. You can check your APOE uh, gene if you're interested. You can do 23andMe, which are SNPs, that's not, that's more epigenetics. Uh, you can get your entire genome sequence to know every gene that your mom and dad gave you. I've had that done and had minimal impact on my health planning, but it's available and it's gotten less and less and less expensive. And the neatest thing now is, there's panels coming out that you can actually measure your epigenetic transformation of your genome. So what has pollution, what has your sleep, what has your diet done? Um, you can actually check which uh, sites on your genome are uh, sulfur modified and are an epigenetic change. So the next few years are gonna be very exciting to be more quantitative and to hand patients reports and then maybe retest as we make changes in their sleep, their stress, their diet, their fitness. But Genes load the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. Sometimes a quote credited to Dr. Mehmet Oz, sometimes a quote credited to Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, the Cleveland Clinic. Um, you know, you can overcome. You can't change blue eyes to brown eyes and vice versa. But uh, if somebody carries an APOE4 allele, which increases your risk of cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's dementia, well, do your research. Find out that lower saturated fat diets are probably more appropriate for you. Make sure you exercise. Make sure you get all your numbers done and try and make them optimal. Um, you know, add in brain-friendly practices and turmeric and proper weight and uh, exercise for brain health, blueberries and such. So, you know, the knowledge of finding out your risk can be turned around to be a positive to say, you know, you really don't have a choice. You need that healthy lifestyle that you know you, you should be doing and uh, you know maybe this will get you to commit to doing it more fully.